demonstrating the Amazon Kindle app with voiceover on an iPad. In this short video, we'll be looking at the new accessible Kindle app running on an iPad. Now the new Kindle app is compatible with voiceover, so for people who can't see the screen, voiceover can read their ebooks for them. I can turn voiceover on by tapping the home button three times and selecting voiceover, voiceover on the menu. iBooks. Double tap to open. Landscape. Home button to the right. Now with voiceover on, I can navigate Kindle. to Kindle app. Double tap to open. And double tap anywhere on screen to open Kindle. up the app. Search button. And that opens up into my bookcase. Now the very first time that you use the Kindle app, you'll need to register your Kindle Amazon account. But you only have to do this once and any books that you've already purchased will then be available for immediate download to your iPad so that you can read them. Now I'm reading The Wind in the Willows at the moment so I can use my finger to navigate to The Alice's Wind in Adventures the Willows. In Wonderland. The Wind in the Willows. Graham Kenneth. Book downloaded. Double tap to open book. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. So double tap anywhere on screen. Menu off. Open the book. Double tap for menu. Swipe two fingers down for continuous reading. Tap. Tap and hold to select text. Well, well, said the rat. I suppose we ought to be moving. I wonder which of us had better pack the luncheon basket. He did not speak as if he was frightfully eager for the treat. Of course. A single tap with two fingers will pause the text to speech. And you notice that as soon as we went into the page, VoiceOver started reading the, the book from where we left off. Now a two finger single tap again will resume reading. Rat let him. Packing the basket was not quite such pleasant work as unpacking the basket. It never is. But the mole was bent on enjoying everything. And although just when he had got... Now if I want to start reading from the top of the page again, I just need to do a two finger swipe upwards. Well, well, said the rat. I suppose we ought to be moving. I wonder which of us had better pack the luncheon basket. He did not speak as if he was frightfully eager for the treat. Oh, please let me. And a two finger tap again pauses. Now if I use two fingers to rotate on the screen, Lines. I can bring up the Headings. rotor, which Lines. enables us to select words, words, characters. I've selected words. So we start at the top of the screen again. Well, well, said the rat. Using a single finger swiping downwards, I can read word by word. Well, well, said the rat. Now a double tap on the screen will bring up the menu. Menu on. Return to book. By swiping from right to left, I can move through the menu options at the top of the page. The wind in the willows. Search. Button. Go to. Button. Now I want to navigate to a particular page, so I'm going to double tap to select the Go To menu. Go To. Heading. And by swiping with a single finger from left to right, I can navigate down to Page. Cover. Beginning. Page. A double tap will select. Alert. Comma. Page. Text field. Is editing. Character mode. Enter value for page. And now I can put in the page number Four, I want to six. navigate to. Six. Double tap selects. Seven. Seven. And if I select OK. OK. Button. And double tap. I go immediately to page 67. Down. A mere blank transparency on the night. That the sense of home and the little curtained world within walls. The larger stressful world of outside nature shut out and forgotten. Most As before, as soon as we navigated to the page, voiceover started reading immediately from the top. I'm going to bring the menu up again with a double tap. Menu on. And navigate back to home. home. Button. Search. And Button. that takes us back to our bookshelf. Now that's just a very brief look at the accessible Kindle app working with voiceover. 
the app will also work with a braille display and even if text-to-speech has been turned off in any of the books that you've purchased that won't matter if you're using the accessible Kindle app it will actually read them. I hope you found this very short video useful. This video featured the Amazon Kindle app version 3.7 running on an Apple iPad with version 6.1.3 of iOS. RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people.